Hey glampers and avant-garde camping followers. I'm Jenna and I am the founder and director of Avant-Garde Camping. Uh, so this week I am in a cute little town called Braidwood and I've been out here all week with my team installing a uh, 35 tent install for a wedding. So this week's topic would only be fitting to be discussing weddings and what we do, how it all works, um, the benefits of it, and uh, go, into a, go on to site and see actually what we do and how we set things up. And so I'm actually going to take you out to site and show you what we've been doing out there uh, with the 35 tents. We have a huge amount of space to set up in and um, the team has installed the bedding, the linen and all that stuff. Before we head out there though, I wanted to go through what the benefits are of glamping and potentially that's how I started this business. Um, we found that there was not a lot of accommodation in the area and especially in towns like this and uh, where people are now getting married on family properties or friends properties or they just want that whole festival vibe. Um, there's generally not a lot of accommodation nearby and the roads uh, late at night have uh, your local native animals around so it's not safe um, driving at night and I think glamping is a fantastic option to bring everybody together in a safe way. Everyone can really let their hair down and enjoy the evening that unfolds and just wander back to their tent at that night and uh, wake the next day. They can enjoy the company of everybody staying and you can really spend some time with your family and friends. So with how it all works, um, we base our packages off an hour and a half from Richmond. That's generally uh, the most popular travel amount of travel that we do. But in saying that, we do travel throughout New South Wales. So we will go have a look at the site. We will advise on areas that would be uh, not only convenient, but also safe as well. Uh, so we will have a look at the site and price accordingly. Um, and we can do a range of things from just having a bed inside a tent right through to having your towels, your uh, bed bases, uh, solar interior lighting. We can do coat stands with coat hangers and um, bathroom toiletries. So we can take it to that next level. Um, it really depends on the budget. The other thing that we do is an online booking system. So uh, we can have um, your guests book directly with us. We can manage everything like a hotel would. So it fits into everybody's budget, right from the our classic B&B &B package through to our luxury premium suites. Um, and then we come out and install them. We number all our tents and they've all got names on them. And I'll show you that today. We um, This particular wedding has a board with all the um, placements of each person's tent. So another thing that comes into doing the glamping tents, um, there's a lot of thought that goes behind what our installs are about. And, and together with myself, my lead supervisor and our team, um, we are constantly going to different locations and analyzing different sites and, and the way that the guests will be moving throughout the tent. So it's not a matter of us just coming in and setting up a whole heap of tents and, and off we go. We, we really think about how the client is going to use the space and the intentions of pathways and trying to keep things as uniform as possible. And um, so yeah, it is a little bit more than just throwing a bed in to plan things out properly and um, work with other vendors to be able to create something that is enjoyable. All right, so we're out on site in Reedsdale. I've got my sun protection on. And as you can see right here, we have 35 bell tents, which we're still setting up for. And um, we'll take you for a tour very shortly. So here we have our 35 tent install. Uh, as I was talking about earlier, there's the sign that we had custom made with the tent numbers and the guest name staying in each tent. Each of the tents also has the number and the guest name as well. We have our recycled mats out the front and they are made from recycled plastic straw. So they will keep relatively dry and um, keep the tent as clean as possible as well. 
What a beautiful view there is here though. Uh, this space, um, we have set the aisles up to run in line with the main marquee. And so it would only be a short walk to and from, from the tents as well. We've also had to consider uh, being uh, an area where there's lots of wind. Uh, we've had to consider how we would be placing the tents as well. So my top five tips that I would recommend when you're looking for a glamping supplier. Number one, find out what type of tent they're using, how big the doors are, how many doors, if it's got cross ventilation. Number two, air beds or inner spring mattresses. You want to know, and if they're using air beds, you want to know the brand of the air bed as well. Number three, site inspections, especially for large jobs. This is super, super important. Number four, do they provide an online booking system? And finally, number five, find out what's included in all the tents and what their upgrade options are.